Hello. Today we are going to see the Faraday's uh, law of electromagnetic induction. As you are aware, uh, that Faraday has uh, actually given two laws. One is based on the self-induction, and another is on mutual induction. Today we are going to see Faraday's laws of self-induction. That is how an EMF is induced in a coil when a time-varying flux is linked with that coil. And the accessories which we we require to analyze the Faraday's law of electromagnetic uh, self-induction are already available here. You can see we require any coil, right? Here I am having an air core inductance, right? And in this, it's having a given cross section area, and the number of turns are not specified here. So it's having a coil in this white box where I have the coil having specified number of turns, and we require this galvanometer which actually shows the deflection of the induced voltage, right? And we require a magnet. It can we can have a permanent magnet, or we can we can choose an electromagnet here to demonstrate uh, this Faraday's law. We will use this permanent magnet, and right. Also, we will use this uh, digital storage oscilloscope to analyze the nature of a voltage induced and the magnitude of induced voltage, right? So it is a very simple simple experiment. What we will do first? First, we will do we will keep the coil stationary. Right, this is my coil. Right, I will keep it at stationary position. But what I will do, I will connect. I will connect uh, this galvanometer across this coil, which will show uh, the deflection of induced EMF in the coil. As you know that the induced magnitude of induced voltage is given by the equation V is equal to n d by d t. That means the magnitude will depend upon the number of turns in the coil, and it will depend upon the rate of flux. Rate of change of flux. So what uh, actually rate of flux means? If I uh, have a magnet, right, and I will interchange its position, uh, right, with respect to this coil. And the faster I am going to change its position, the, the magnitude of induced voltage will accordingly vary. Also, if I am changing, interchanging the poles, the direction of induced voltage will accordingly change. So first, what I will do? This is my air core inductor. This is fixed, and this is a permanent magnet. First, I will interchange the direction of this. Uh, permanent magnet, right? Uh, also, I will kept connected digital store storage oscilloscope across this. Now you can see first I have magnet, but I have I have magnet. You can see initially the galvanometer is at zero position. Suppose what I am doing, I am now see I am actually changing the position of magnet. You can see I am changing the position of magnet. See, see, like in this position, you can see. The the induced EMF is in the positive direction. You can see in the positive direction as I am interchanging the point. That means what is actually happening? The poles of the magnet are getting changed. That's the portion of the coil which was initially in the north side comes under the south side. Then accordingly, you can see the induced magnitude of induced EMF uh, goes on changing. That's the nature of the voltage induced is time varying. We can see the faster I am moving the uh, magnet, you can see. The more the deflection of this galvanometer, right, as it goes from positive to negative and crossing the zero axis, that means the induced nature of the induced voltage is time varying, right? Also, if you want to see the magnitude, you can see the magnitude of induced EMF. You can see the line on the DSO. You can that is going up and down, and the magnitude is right now here. You can see the average voltage changing. Average voltage is changing from some millivolts to volts depending upon. The motion of the magnet, that is the rate of change of flux. You can see the average is right now 4.4 volts, 5 volts, 1 volts, my, and it, it actually goes on my negative. It also uh, reflects the negative because uh, as I am changing the position from magnet from north to its uh, poles gets changed, right? Now the another way of uh, demonstrating the same that's the uh, Faraday law of self-induction is what I will do. I will keep this magnet stationary. And I will interchange. You can see I will displace this coil with respect to this magnet, and you can see the induced EMF will accordingly change. You can see, you can see on the deflection on this galvanometer. Right now my magnet is stationary. What I am doing? I am displacing the coil with respect to the magnet. That means the flux linking with the coil is time varying. Accordingly, the induced voltage is changing in positive and negative direction. Right now this was all about how we can demonstrate. That is law of self-induction. That means the induced amount of uh, voltage induced in this coil by self-induction, by either varying the uh, flux, uh, either by changing the, uh, the uh, uh, displacing this magnet with respect to the coil, or the coil with respect to this magnet. Thank you.